We will see. <laughs> we will see in the fight how, how it will be. Download the All Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. I wanted to ask you about your meeting with uh, Mike Tyson, like meeting him. You yeah. I mean? For a lot of heavyweight fighters, that's a big deal. How was it for you? Yeah, it was a big deal meeting him. Uh, uh, it was it was a very 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 uh, very nice experience of meeting him. Uh, so yeah, it was nice. I'm happy uh, it happened and we can take a photo with him. He was really nice. Yeah, it was good. Did you grow up watching him fight, or was that before you started watching? I will not say like grow up, but uh, yeah, I I watched a lot of his fights, but I can say like I grow up on on them. <laughs> Yeah. Just no, yeah. he's a legend yeah. for sure. For sure. Um, and uh, you know, after your last fight, you said you wanted one more fight this year. They gave you one more fight, UFC 296, your first pay per view card. How does it feel to be on a pay per view card in Las Vegas? Um, it's amazing, it's amazing. Uh, I'm very happy, uh, I'm excited for it. Um, so I'll do my best to, to, to show him my best performance on Saturday night. And, and your opponent, Shamil Gassiev, you know, he's undefeated and he's making his UFC debut. What are your thoughts on him? Yeah, he's a big guy, uh, dangerous, undefeated, as you said. So uh, he's a real deal guy. So I think it will be it will be very, very good fight, entertaining. I think both of us will go aggressively for the win. So um, it will be good to watch, I think. When two big guys clash, it will be like an earthquake. <laughs> in the for, earthquake. Sure, yes, for sure, for sure. <laughs> it is like an earthquake. Do you, do you see this fight like as the matchup, you know what I mean, fighting style-wise? How do you see it? Like his style? Yes. Yeah, uh, he's very dangerous hands. Very dangerous hands. So very good boxing. Mm, so I'm, I'm aware of it and ready for, for it <laughs> to yeah. change some punches. Yeah. Yeah, but um, he's very dangerous on 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 the feet, but also he he, he can wrestle, he can submit, so uh, he's very dangerous in every aspect. But in, but in boxing, he's he's I think the most dangerous like on the feet. But we'll see what he'll be what uh, what he brings to, to the cage, and we will see on a Saturday. Do you, do you think there is a like octagon jitters, you know, when fighters debut in the UFC in front of the the, the crowd and the arena, the, do they get over? Do you believe in the jitters? Like they get too nervous? I don't think Did so. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's. Uh, I think it's in individual. I think it's individual. Maybe he will get a little bit nervous. Maybe he will not. So we will see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see the fight how how will be uh how how you how he looks and maybe we can decide if he's nervous or not but i think it's very very individual from my perspective i was uh, a little bit nervous <laughs> on my debut yeah but he he mm, he can be a little uh, he can be relaxed so it's individual in your debut, you said you were a little nervous, right? Did it make you fight better, or was did you fight like not the the way you wanted to? Mm, I think it didn't affect me uh, like much. Uh, I fight it uh, like I wanted to, so maybe, maybe <laughs> can can tell for sure. Maybe in the inside it affected me some somehow, but I don't know. If yes or no, <laughs> but I fight it the night uh, as I planned, so maybe it will. Maybe it affected me in a good way. <laughs> oh, definitely, it did. It definitely did. Um, and let's talk about your last fight. You know, against Josh Parisian, you got the first round finish, uh, your first finish in the UFC, first round submission. How do you feel about that fight? Not the finish, but even before the finish. What did you feel like the fight was going as planned? Um, yes, yes, of course. Of course, uh, I, I wanted to finish him so badly in, in the on the feet. So maybe this was the part that that didn't go as planned. 
so uh, I'm happy uh, that we that we ended in the ground and uh, I secured the submission. So, but I felt uh, I felt the 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 fight is going in the right way, in my way, <laughs> of course. Yeah. So everything was good before the finish, and I'm happy that that I <clears throat> that I secured my first finish, first finish. Yes. And I want to continue uh, yeah. in that. <laughs> Well, did you build more confidence? You know what I mean? Because you've been winning fights. It's not about winning the fight. It's, you know, like like you said, getting a finish, your first finish. Did it yeah. build more confidence? Maybe more com- you become more comfortable inside the cage? Well, I'm getting comfortable inside the cage like uh, like every fight. Like more and more. Uh, I don't have many fights. So uh, every fight is like big experience for me to the next fight. So. <clears throat> yes, uh, but that finish, but that finish, uh, like, boost my confidence a little bit for sure. Yes, but I knew I am capable of finishing uh, guys. But um, I'm happy uh, it, it was successful in the last fight, and I hope uh, I will get a finish in the next one. You, you've been very honest about your performances in the UFC. Even after you win, you say, you know, maybe that fight wasn't very good. You know, I didn't feel good in that fight. Yeah. Talk about some of the, the lessons, you know, you learned from those fights. Yeah, like every fight is a lesson. Mm, but I don't reckon like mm, the specific lesson. It was like uh, growing growing up as a, as a fighter, uh, as a uh, human being. So every fight push, pushes me like forward. Uh, if, uh, if it's win or lose, uh, don't matter. Every fight pushes me forward. But I'm not. Uh, I wasn't satisfied with my performances before. I mean, in the last fight, I wasn't so so happy. Okay, it was finished, but there was there were some mistakes and 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 things that I wanna uh, do better next time, or in the next fight or in the future. But yeah, um, I took some 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 of the, some of the bad things from 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 that match before and um, I try to improve it. Definitely. And on the next. You know, yeah. yeah, of course. Every every fight you've shown improvement. You know, I mean you face some some interesting matchups, right? Like Jake Collier, you know, that's an interesting Chris Barnett, very interesting matchups, you know. Yeah. Hard guys to finish. Yeah. Yeah, hard but uh as I said I'm I'm still improving every day. Uh I'm mid max in everything. Uh like uh, inside the training, outside, uh, like in normal life, so I still feel I I I, I have a, uh, I don't know how to say it. Sorry, <laughs> a lot of work uh, in yeah. front of me, and I think I am capable of of progressing very much. It's I'm like I'm feeling like I'm on the start mm-hmm. right now. Oh, it's a great I can start. show I can show I can show. Uh, Many good fights in the future, for sure. I will progress, and I will, I will, um, I will be a better fighter every fight. And your team, Ground Systems, you know that's the yeah. team, that's your base, right? And talk about the team and how have they helped you to improve every fight and to get you to this top level in the UFC? Uh, yeah, I work with the guys. Uh, like we, we are like a family. Uh, with the ground system gym, we know like I know the guys from from the start. Like we started together train jiu jitsu like 13 years ago. Uh, we know each other like from the from the kids age. Uh, we are from the same city, so. Uh, but I but I didn't prepare from my from start of my career here. I prepared in the Spartacus fight gym <clears throat> in Trnava. Uh, but I switched the gym to ground system, uh, and my guys take care of me uh, from the beginning of my UFC career or from my debut. I can say it like that. So we have good relationship. Uh, it's like, like I said, we are like a family. We are like a family here. We everyone, everyone in my team, like. Uh, they are breathing for the breathing for the same goal as I mean as as me. So, I think that's very important to have uh, people like that uh, by my side. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to have people like that, and we are improving together. 
<clears throat> the whole team and uh, let's let's win <laughs> everything right that's right that's right <laughs> well you know in the gym are you are you like a a a, a leader in a way because you're the first one in the UFC and you're doing really well for yourself as well you know what i mean top of the top of the division i cannot tell that uh, like i'm a leader but um, if you look uh, look at it uh, from the perspective of of the success yes i'm the most successful uh, like athlete in our gym but we are a very young gym now so we will we will one day we will have a have a good fighters so but i'm not a, like a leader uh, maybe some guys um, have me like a role model some uh, in the MMA career so maybe in that way i am a leader but no my trainers are the leaders uh, and that's it what they say uh, we do <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure <laughs> and uh, you know you, you went out to las vegas how many days has it been since you've been there um we are traveling like two weeks before the fight. We made we made it like a habit. <laughs> so every time we we have a fight, uh, it's two weeks before that we are arriving to the US. Mostly, I have a fight in Las Vegas, so uh, we know like two weeks is enough. So uh, we are we are just keeping that schedule, <laughs> like coming two weeks before for the acclimatization and uh, to deal with the jet lag. Uh, because it's like nine hours difference between between in Slovakia and in Las Vegas, so two weeks is good. It's like just finish finish uh, finishing the camp, fight camp here. Um, good work working in the uh, in UFCPI is the amazing facility. I love to to train there and be there. It's uh, perfect. So yeah, two weeks before. Sounds good, yeah. you know, perfect. And uh, how do you see this fight playing out? What do you envision in your mind about this fight? Uh, yeah, it can go. It can go in many ways. Yeah, I visualize that fight, uh, but in many ways, many ways, it can go on the feet, on the ground, on a cage, in a clinch. We will see. We will see. I I don't like. Uh, I don't know how to. Sorry. Prediction. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. I don't like to predict the fight because uh, most of the time uh, the thing I predict is totally opposite <laughs> that it will happen in the same uh, in the cage. So, okay. so we will see. We will see in the fight. It can go uh, either way. We will see. Uh, both of us, uh, both of us are complex fighters, so we can we can fight uh, in the ground or in the feet or on the feet. So we will see. All right, sounds good. Um, I got a couple more questions. USADA, they're going to be gone soon. You know, next year they will have a new program for drug testing. Yeah. Do you like the change? How do you feel about the change? Uh, I'm happy that uh, they continue with some program uh, for the testing. And um, I, can, I can give you some, some opinion on that because uh, we will, uh, I, can, I can give you an opinion about that in the next year. If I see the difference uh, in some email, I was told uh, there will be no like nothing changes. So uh, everything will go uh, as to as today, or uh, or uh, if is Usada on board or not, everything stays the same. Uh, so we will see. We will see. But I'm happy that they will continue with the program. Do you think there should be a, a like an open weight division or a super heavyweight division? Do you think there should be? I'm not sure, but uh, there was there was the division back in the days, or no? I, but they they cancelled it, no? No, I don't think they no? had. A, no, no. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm talking shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, I don't think uh, we need like the heavy division. I don't think so. The 120 kilos is is okay. Is okay limit. Okay, I must cut the weight. Okay, but uh, I'm capable of, of of keeping it under so i don't think uh, it will be like uh, um it will be it will be like maybe less attractive if there will be like 150 kilo guys it will be not not so good movement maybe there will be power and that uh, with, that comes with the weight but it will be not be so entertaining i think that's the reason that they, that uh, that they didn't open this weight or implement it i think that, 
heavyweight as it is now is good. We don't need uh, more okay. more heavyweight or ultra heavy <laughs> <laughs> weight division. I think. Okay, and uh, last question: Tom Aspinall, John Jones. Who do you think wins that fight? <sighs> it's hard because I like them both. John yeah. Jones is a legend. He's a goat. So. <sighs> But I like Thomas Pinal. He's the new blood. Uh, I had the chance to train with him uh, before his fight uh, for the interim title. And he's a very nice guy. So I go with Thomas Pinal. <laughs> All right. No worries. Uh, December 16th, UFC 296, Las Vegas. Martin, thank you so much for the time and uh, all the best in the fight coming up. And yeah, continued success. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything.